Hey guys, Omni here. We are diving into the first episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. Now, um, I've been fairly new to Critical Role. Um, I played D&D way back uh, for the first time. I believe it was early high school. Um, I was kind of my only interest into it. And, uh, and then after like a few short campaigns, huge hiatus up until I'd say the last three years. Uh, found a group, uh, co-workers kind of put together a table, amazing DM, uh, running our campaign. Uh, and it's been world changing. It's been fascinating. It's been a joy, um, especially considering that huge time gap, uh, much older people that I'm playing with now, uh, everybody kind of has their head on their shoulders and knows what they're doing. So it's very different from when I first experienced it way back when. Um, and it's been a blast, man. Um, I've been, and of course, being in that sphere and being with this group of people, I've of course heard of Critical Role. Um, I've been checking them out, listening to them here in the past few, I'd say like year or two off and on. Uh, I haven't really stuck to a campaign because some of them are pretty freaking long. Uh, but I don't know anything about their first campaign, which is what this is based on. Either you pick up clues and tales and hints of it throughout some of their later journeys and other characters as their exploits have been uh, heralded across the lands, of course. So there are some little things that have been mentioned in passing, but nothing like exponential. I've been really listening a lot here to campaign three of theirs. And it's just like a lot of fun. It's definitely one of those things that I really enjoy just kind of having on while I'm working on stuff. It's just like uh, on top of their cast, their chemistry, their uh, professionalism that they bring to the table, as well as their non-professionalism, it's a lot of fun. So I'm very excited to check this out. Uh, I really do want to thank everybody for bringing this to my attention when the trailers dropped and the cast announcement dropped because, again, the cast is, like, stacked uh, past the main group, man. It really is. So I'm excited to check this out. I remember hearing inklings of this when it was kind of conceived that they wanted to animate and do something with their campaigns. Uh, I remember when they uh, the Kickstarter was announced, but I, I could... I completely forgot it was a thing for such a long time. So really, for everybody who brought this up, talked about this, and pointed me in this direction, thank you guys. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope it lives up to all the hype and the expectations. But we're going to be checking it out. As we know, currently, they're dropping three episodes every Friday uh, for the next couple of weeks, kind of doing like the arcane method. If I remember right, uh, season one is going to be 12 episodes, so we will have four weeks of this, 12 episodes. They're roughly 25 to 30-ish odd minutes long, so should be able to get these fairly easy. So, guys, I'm going to be dropping these one a day, so expect, you know, episode one or the start of each set on Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be the drops for each trio of these episodes, so... I just want to keep that in mind for anybody who's like, where's the next episode? Where's the next episode or anything like that? It'll be out. Trust me. It just takes some time with everything else I've already been covering. Um, I definitely wanted to jump on this. So it is kind of getting slapped in here with a lot of the other shows that I already covered throughout the week. So that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this. I hope we enjoy this all together. Forgive me if I don't get all the nuances because I am new to this campaign and still kind of learning who these characters are and these this world that they've crafted um so take for what it will if you can help me along the way without spoiling anything if you've been there from the beginning with these guys with these crew with this story i'd like to experience it as freshly as possible some questions i might have are rhetorical some i might legitimately be like hey can you guys fill me in on this <laughs> but that being said guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you stick around if you're new here uh, I'd really appreciate it, but these will be edited for the channel, so I do have to trim things down. If you want to see the full-length reaction to this, it's going to be on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, it gets you access to those as well. You just sync up your own footage with the time code, and you can watch my reaction to the entire episode. Along with that, you have watch-alongs for all the other shows that I cover on the channel, as well as exclusive movies over there, and some of the movies that I've actually reacted to on the channel, as well as you get to work, suggest what movies I watch and react to at the end of each month for the Patreon and the YouTube members. There's weekly Q&As, there's uh, behind-the-scenes footage. I try to make it worth your while because it does go into supporting the channel. It does 
go into helping us expand the types of shows that we cover here as well as hopefully improve, improve the production quality and all of that for you guys. But of course, no, not everybody can go other way to do something like that. But a simple way you can support the channel is just by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing these videos. And it really does. It does help us out in the long run. And that all said and down the way, guys, let's jump into episode one of The Legend of Vox Machina. Here we go. Long ago, in another realm, stood the majestic kingdom of Tal'Dorei. Man, his voice is so smooth to listen to when he's DMing. Oh, it just, it almost puts me to sleep sometimes. It's so smooth and soothing. It was a time of peace. Until a great evil arrived. Ain't that how it be? <laughs> oh my god. Humanity will never fall to you. Holy shit. I know we saw bits of that in the trailer, but like, yeah, I like that. They were like the classic, like, archetypes. Your typical hero characters you would follow just get obl obliterated so that they have to resort to these misfits. Do not rest until you bring me the greatest band of mercenaries in all of Tal'Dorei. Good luck with that. Based on what I've experienced with Campaign 3, they are go probably going to be some of the most disheveled group of people you could imagine. Fuck me, why do we always play drinking games with a guy twice our size? Because it's the fastest way to get drunk, obviously. <laughs> Who's drunk? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. I think we should go to another... Another... <coughs> oh, so chunky. Oh, watch it, bitch. Hmm. <laughs> Rude. Bunch of pathetic losers who can't get a fucking job. Look at your scrawny ass. Too weak to tickle your own pickle. Are you offering to help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a hand. Oh. I think he's willing. Can I keep this? Great, great intro. About it, about what I expected. <laughs> uh. We go out drinking. Bear. Oh fuck. Grog, step aside. Oh, he like that one. <laughs> oh, damn. I I didn't actually expect full nudity. My love, it's time for us to You want to join in, you got to ask first. Well, maybe not full nudity, but Could you put on some pants and help us? I guess. First, you people drink me dry. Then, you destroy my tavern. What, what is that gnome doing with my daughter? <laughs> it's probably best you don't know. Mm. Who's paying for all this? Have you guys ever thought, maybe we're not really meant to do this? I mean, Vex and Vax only care about themselves. Well, oh, fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> While you're all moping around, I have to drain the proverbial basilisk. Uh, yeah. hmm? <laughs> this is our purpose. Fighting for justice. Lots of money! Well, oh. scrote. <laughs> okay, we'll take you in. But the bear waits outside. Mm. I can't bear... The disappointment on his face. Whitestone hasn't been heard from in months. Our last messenger never returned. They must be warned of these attacks. Send another guardsman straight away. <laughs> Twins, Vex and Vax. 
Once she shoots, he hides in the pitch. They're stealthy and quite deadly, but I forget which one is which. <laughs> he is pure. Her hands can always heal. Oh, and did I mention we have a bear trinket? No big deal. And as for myself. Oh my god. My music's jammed, go on hand, you can't stand it. Get some water, hide your door. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can't be seriously considering them for such a crucial task. Sovereign, their reputation is less than stellar. Well, they do have a bear. <laughs> That's enough. Let's just call in Agar's assassins again. Uh, Agar apparently had his hand chopped off in a barroom brawl. No, uh, that was them. <sighs> Very well. You're hired, Vox. Mm. What exactly are we killing, and how much are we making? We don't know what you're killing, but once you kill it, all this is yours. An undisclosed amount of money. Oh, dude. Hey, by the way, why are you both whispering like we can't hear you? Can you mind your business for once, gnome? You mean me, me, me. <laughs> As you can see, the creature has already raised three villages and miles of farmland. Jeez. Heroic and true. Yeah, yeah, nobility and heroism is fine and all, but we're in this for the money. So it's coin over character. Not surprising. Usually how it goes. Thanks for the sweet ride. You'll be back to pick us up later, right? Nope. You're a priest of sorts, aren't you? Could you bless our house? Protect uh, it from this evil. A, a blessing? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, no problem. Okay, here goes. She doesn't seem very confident about that. Shine upon your home. Everything will be tipped up. Okay, I'm sure you'll survive these trying times, so good luck. Are you sure you're a holy person? Out of practice. I, I don't really bless a lot of houses these days. Thank you, dear. Are they going to be eviscerated? <laughs> Are you a wizard? <laughs> nah, the magic's all in the fingers, kid. Sleight of hand. It's close. Everyone get ready. <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, don't let that thing bite you, Vex. <laughs> okay, so she's Vex. <laughs> oh! Is it a dragon? Yup. Oh my god, dude. Uh. Jesus. <laughs> you got it, guys. It's just a dragon. What levels are their characters? At least at this point. Come on, you got this. Did I just make it worse? I would imagine so. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that went great. That went that went fine. Get me out. Get, get me out and check the crowd's ass. Oh, pulled a Groot. At least we're still alive. Whew, that was lucky. We can't just run away. This is why I hate traveling with holy people. They're too goddamn good. Pike. <laughs> we'll go back to the palace and get out of the contract. You don't understand, Percy. I felt it there too, at the palace. You're just telling us this now? I'm sorry, I- One of them is shapeshifted into human form or humanoid form as part of the council. I mean, is it the- Extremely evil looking dude? Or is that the bait and switch?
No. Oh no. Uh... Yeah. Damn, and I called it too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Please, Everlight. Let your power reach him. I can't do it. I'm still too weak from before. Damn. I don't like losing. But now I'm feeling things. On the inside. <laughs> I'm with you. That was... Actually, well stated, Grog. What was? <laughs> Count me in as well. You all realize we're going to die a truly horrible death. But we'll die gloriously, and we'll kill a fucking dragon. Dude, that was a really good fucking first episode, man. I don't even—I don't know where that came from there at the end, though. From everything we've seen, man, I got—I got fucking misty with the whole village thing and all that, and the way. Maybe it's because I have that like first-hand experience of similar situations like that change of heart and these sem seemingly heartless characters in the moment uh, when it, their mishaps or disingenuous attitude or whatever have you uh, comes back and karma doesn't necessarily strike back at them but the people that they've interacted with and the guilt that weighs over you for the actions, even if they are NPC players, man, like it still weighs, especially on me when I'm playing. If something I do or my decisions like affect uh, an NPC at some points, depending on the character I'm playing, obviously, it's definitely like a ways, man. But that got really emotional, like the that family that they saw, the kids with her doing Pike trying to do that little blessing on the house, and real, I, I, I couldn't tell if she was actually trying. Or if that was just her feigning something like that. If she didn't, I don't know. Um, but, you know, don't worry, you'll be fine, you'll be safe. And then they go off, they do this thing, provoke this dragon, and then they're all slaughtered. Now, would that have happened whether or not they provoked the dragon or lost to it at all? Probably. But, of course, they were, they were there, they failed to stop it, so there is going to be that that weighs on your party. I like it, I like all the characters, very distinctive. Um, got to get used to the name. So we got Grog, Pike, who's the little um, gnome cleric. Uh, I f forget the the bloodborne looking dude with the gun. Um, Scanlan, right? The the gnome bard. Then we have Vex, the ranger, the female ranger, and then we have Vax, who's the rogue. I'm assuming. Uh, I assuming that's what they're playing. Like I'm just kind of like going off of what we've seen so far. And then we got something with a K. I can't remember who's the the druid. Um, I really like this. You know, it had its like playfulness in the beginning of it. Uh, it's definitely raunchy. It definitely it's like kind of what I expected from the trailer, but definitely turned up to eleven in ways that I didn't quite expect. Given Amazon and like what we went through with Invincible, I expected the gore to really be right there, but like some of the other stuff, like the full on I didn't I I'll just say, I did not expect to go into this and see scrotum and anim and animated titties. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um on top of uh everything else. But I like it, man. I like it. There's like of course like just watching through it, like I was imagining when the it was announced and we got that first trailer, like how they would. It's funny, like watching this as somebody who's who plays, because then like I find myself going through this, like because it's just their campaign adapted, like how things played out, their dice rolls, their RPs, everything adapted to be this flowing narrative. So like every time like something happens, like did you crit? Did you roll in that one? Um, and then I'm like, is this this spell that they just used? Is this what this is? Like these little uh, little bits of uh, info like throughout like the, the game mechanics coming into it where I'm just like, I don't know. It's just fun like, picking it apart there. Um, like when the one dude's gun jammed, I was like, oh, he must have like 
failed that roll like horribly. Either he missed or that was a critical fail because it jammed. I don't know. It's just like fun things like that when I'm watching through it. I'm just kind of like picking apart in my brain. But yeah, when we saw like they was like it's winged, it's flying over the mountains, and then they come across these human footsteps. I was like, is I, I started to doubt myself for a little bit, but I was like, is this a dragon? Because I mean, they get shape shift. They usually hide in human form. You know, it happened back at the at the citadel at the castle, right? Her first headache. And of course, we had the dude with the blue tinged skin and all that kind of give that glance, and that's kind of when that happened. I feel like that's too obvious. Because I feel like in most things, like the 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 dark blue conniving, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the Spock looking dude, like would be like the guy you definitely finger out typically in these type of fantasy roles. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely going to be somebody else. Maybe even I don't know. Don't answer any of these questions because obviously, like I said, I want to experience this for myself. I I I don't really know this campaign at all. So, that said, guys, that was episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. That was fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit, especially that faux opening with the, the the stereotypical, archetypical group. Like, I was like, that's definitely the Aragorn analog. We have the one, we had the wizard that was clearly talking like Gandalf. I was like, they're the, the ones that, like, you know, that would be looked up to while we're following the, like, the bare minimum that we have available for the rest of the show. Like the ones that really would succeed are like garages, are thralls, are, uh, <laughs> here we go, just bringing Warcraft into this. You know what I mean? The heroic characters, the names that everybody in the land knows and prays, just getting wiped out in the opening couple minutes. I like that whole little bit. Um, I like the self self awareness, but I, I like this. I like this quite a bit. So, I'm looking forward to the rest of it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you stick around. If you're new, sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. I've opened channels up in our Discord for this, uh, you know, our general chat for where we don't talk about spoilers and stuff like that. And then I have a spoiler chat for it as well. Links to that and all my socials in the description below. If you want to see the full-length reaction, remember it's on Patreon or if you become a member on the channel, it gets you access to it as well. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Koryska, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Jeffrey Hale, Nate Prouty, Emo Slytherin, and Melita. Thank you guys so much for your support. That's an, for our first episode of Vox Machina Down, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.